since we got to Central Station of America, up to the water. So I just head there now. Church, four minutes walk there. It's a little bit of a hill. Clock tower as well. But that's a queue and a half, man. Got my ticket, I'm in the queue, waiting for it to get scanned and then I'll be heading into the uh, Mario Lello, which is basically like a famous bookstore in Porto. I've only got that much to go, so see you inside. First impression is like, I'm in Harry Potter's Wizard. <laughs> and then at the back, you've just seen we've got the exquisite books that you don't even get to handle like that. When you buy 5 euros, you get 5% discount on books that you buy. So it's, it's kind of worth coming in, seeing the artwork. And if you love books, it's going to be even both big bonus. And I've got in there and I find this guy just in the stairs. Oh, it's crazy, it was like. Five euros. Yes? Well, wow, you love books, you should have gone in there. Exactly. So yeah, listen, we're off to the next location. I'm going to grab Shane. Let's go. I was expecting flying books and stuff, but, <laughs> but when I saw the stairwell, I was like, wow, like, that's, that's exquisite. Like, Are there books up there? Yeah, there's books on both floors, wow. and then there's like a section at the back, which is like, you know when you go to a library, and you've got reference books, you're not allowed to take them out? Yeah, yeah. These books are locked away, you can't even get in. Grab one of these little cakes, I'm gonna smash it out. The love that little, the fingers getting them in there. They only make these nutters. Um, just had that little piece of cake, lovely jubbly. Off to the Mercado Berloa to see the market. Should be open. Google's telling me that it's closed every day, which doesn't make sense. So I just arrived at the market, market of the blower. Put on my list of things to see. It's not closed really, is it? It's open. It's open if you're working in there, yeah. I think they're rebuilding it. So next time, I might just listen to Google. Let's go. I might be some thing of new in the hotel. Kawabunga. Huh? Cowabunga! Cowabunga! <laughs>
Ja. <lacht> Was ist das? Was? Was? Das ist wirklich der erste Brüche. Das ist wirklich der erste. Dieser Typ hat eigentlich eine Brüche. Stellt euch mal vor, du hast eine Brüche für dich. Und dann hast du die Gondolen. Ich bin auf dem Wasser. Danke. Wow. Schau auf die Views. Schau auf die Views. Das ist, was ich liebe, wenn ich auf dem Drohnen sehe. Es gibt zu viele Leute hier rum. There's laws to be a bite to buy. There ain't no trains coming just yet, so I'm all right for the moment. If you look at the visuals, man. This is probably one of the most famous bridges here. So the trams run across it. And look at them for the whole family. They've got the whole family for the picture, for the gram. And they've got the gondola boats that run along the riverbanks, the ferries. We've got the tunnel, which leads through to Main City. Shane, what are you saying? We get a picture for the gram. But we'll get a little bit exercising because we're going to be eating loads. Finally, find someone to eat over here. Olha, está está um vibrão no chão. We're going here. For her neck. So yes guys, down in Taylor's Court Cellar. I'm down here, I'm about to just have a little walk around. When I bought my ticket, the lady said to me, didn't want a map. I was like, yo, of course. So basically, I took the map because I knew I was going to get lost. You know, when you go around the hatchet. Hello, Woodworm. This one's empty. That one's got more in it. <coughs> Guys, it's not, it's not, it's like that. Like, oh. So this must have been 24 foot 4 when you're in the barrel. Did you hear that, guys? This expert right here. Yeah. But that's what I was trying to look. Probably for sleeping. Taste it. Lick your finger. Now that might be cat weed. Weed. <laughs> yes. 24, 24, 28. Anyway, guys, we're going to try and find the one that's the eldest one with the stickers on. I reckon that's like these lot. Uh, yeah, but from all the way along. He's the expert. I just do the theories. <laughs> Guys, yeah, that's the inside of the brewery. It's not even a brewery, it's the cellar. So what's port made out of? Grapes, eh? Is it grapes? So we're gonna go outside, and that's where we're gonna do a bit of tasting. And then through the final frontier, we enter Taylor's Port Cellar. Dun, dun, dun. And this is where they keep the big barrels. Look how big they are. Right. Imagine one fell off and then it started rolling. If it rolled, you'd be squashed. It's like barrel after barrel after barrel after barrel. Gotta be quiet. Very, very quiet. Don't want to wake up the bunny rabbit. <laughs> Then we open up. We say, "Blue piss, <gasps> berries, <laughs> nuts." 
Caramel. Okay, we're, going down. we're gonna go down, we're gonna go out, we're actually gonna be stepping outside and I see a sign. It's the tasting room. Now in Taylor's port wine. <laughs> Dry white port. Swivel it. Smell it. Take a little bit. That's about tasty. I'm actually looking forward to the red. Can you try to taste it? Thank you. Thank you. Swivel it. Yo, where's the bottle? Where's the bottle? It's actually tasty. So juicy. And it's got a little bit of texture, like, that little bit of dryness on the end. But, um, oh man, that's, that's vintage port. Hey, that's vintage port. Vintage, that's vintage port at its best. Mate, if I had a bit of cheese right now, I'd be. Oh, mate. Portuguese cheese. Listen guys, I have to go for Shane's suspension cheese. And then you mentioned cheese, oh, eh? Mine's good. <laughs> Where they make loads and loads of port, they brew it themselves, make it themselves basically, in other words. And it's very, very tasty. But do not film or do not take pictures of people in your cameras because it's illegal. Yeah? As the lady told me about 200 times, in the whole of Europe it started to rain. So I'm gonna run. I'm off. Yo, look at this kid in the corner having a little peek. This guy's doing a little bit of like stuntman antics. Then you got these guys having a little break. This guy's climbing a building, doing a flag. Yo, look at this guy, he's even having a little dive. Look at his mate down there trying to catch him. You got these guys. This guy's struggling to pull him up. And then you got the grandma right here. That wall. Proper wall. Sweeping walls, boy. I just think we was up there, Minnie, though. Yeah. So I'm heading into the Palace de la Bolsa uh, to have a look around the palace and. I am going in with a Spanish tour guide, so I'll tell you what, it's going to be very interesting. From the tour started, I don't have a clue what the lady just said. I'm just going to follow from behind. So I'm taking that this is the Grand Hall in the palace. Eighteenth century paintings. Take it, this is a conference room. This is like a high court thing of uh, be in the presence of the judge. I don't understand Spanish more a little bit. Basically what she's saying is the judge will sit at the front, the jury will sit on the left, the people will sit on the right and the audience sit behind and who knows what is going on because I don't know where the bad people sit cool I've got in trouble oh great that's Palace de Bolsa. Um, <laughs> as I said, I jumped inside. There was no way I was going to be able to walk around on my own. They wouldn't let me. So I had to jump on the last tour of the day. Uh, Spanish tour guide. Very helpful. Obviously, would have been helpful if I understood anything. But that was my own choice. I'm going to 
gave us 10 euros to get inside so let's just say it was it was what it was um, but when I say artistic um, insightful I was just talking like you know just overly and then all of a sudden I heard English words which said not filming so yeah that was that and then the tour finished about 25 30 minutes I'm off to Lado B I'm off to get some fresh shina I think that's how you pronounce it it's a Portuguese dish and I'm about to show you what it is Man, this is spicy good you can feel the toast if you cut it. Cheese, steak, bacon, ham. And yeah, it's pretty banging. Lado B. Lado B is like, how do I explain it? <sighs> it's a calf. <laughs> They're that simple, guys. Yeah, they did a sandwich. This sandwich, what I had was the vegetarian, some tofu, the cheese inside. And, oh, just thinking about it, it's like a pizza, but it wasn't a pizza. Wait, it was a pizza. And it had sauce all over it. It's in a bowl, and it was like soaking up the juices. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm off to do some sunset shots. Let's get out of here. And action, guys. Here we are. We're down at Foz de Dora. I'm going to the beach. I came down here literally to catch some sunset. Oh, yeah. I've, I've got some lighthouses. Like, we've got ferries going out. We've got the lighthouse with his red light on, which is a bit odd. And then you've got the, light, the further lighthouse. I think that might be a marker lighthouse, because that's a lighthouse. It's not the same thing, but yeah, wow. I came here to see if I could catch the sunset, but we actually missed it. I'd say we missed it by about 10 minutes. So yeah. Guys, that's the end of my day in Porto. If I could sum it up fully, surprised me. It has surprised me because there's been so much that's been gone on from the beginning, getting to the city, to parking, to... Do you mind? Sneak, <laughs> it blew his nose. Wow. But yeah, it's, it's just, like I said, sum it up, it's surprising because it is a city, but there's so much from going to see the palace to the bookstore for I was like, I don't like Harry Potter this this is me I'm a film I'm a film buff in a way but I thought wow this 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 looks amazing I thought it was some Harry Potter scene that's what I thought it was not a fan but there we go that's neither here nor there or there nor here I'm a bit tired so drained but yeah Shane we're saying takeaway Huh? Take what? Food. Yeah, we always eat. <laughs> Can you get fish takeaway? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Depends what, uh, what kind of fish. There's some around the sea, that's also there's some around the sea, isn't there? Yeah, there's places to eat around here. There's something specific about the beaches then. On the list. There's something on the Foz de Dora, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, guys, listen, we're going. Shane's has decided we're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of food. Later! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the flip side!